All right. Hey guys, so welcome back uh, to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, USUB. Well, I call it USUB. You guys call it the substitution method. Um, but I'm going to call it USUB because when you guys learn more substitution methods, um, it'll be a little bit easier to distinguish between them. Right. So I'm going to be walking through kind of like the key points and pieces with a USUB. Um, and then uh, for my video on Thursday, I'm going to talk to you guys about um, kind of like how to apply USUB in a really neat way. Um, that's going to make your lives probably a whole lot easier. But first things first, we'll walk through the basics. Um, so I have an example problem up. The first thing that we're going to do is we have to pick our U, right? So the way that I pick U, um, this is kind of like my rule of thumb, is I will pick either the function that is the most complicated or the piece that is making my life the most complicated, right? So what that means is when I look at a function, I'm going to notice um, kind of like what pieces of the function there are and then what uh, pieces of the functions are really difficult, right? So the, for the function up on Blackboard, um, first, there's two things I notice. First off, I notice cosine. Second of, second of all, I notice cosine of 7x, right? I notice cosine first because that's something that I recognize. I know how to take an integral of cosine of x. The second thing that I recognize is I don't actually know how to take the integral of cosine of 7x. I only know how to take the integral of cosine of x. Right? So this is how I identify my u. That 7x is uh, giving me a problem. So I'm going to let u be equal to 7x. Right? So next thing I need to do is I need to take a derivative. Right? So this is where I kind of want to tweak it a little bit. Right? So we're used to derivatives as uh, u prime, right? But I'm going to write the derivative as uh, du dx, okay? The reason is when I substitute u in to my function, I'm going to get something along the lines of cosine of u dx, right? But I can't do that, right? The variable of the integrand has to match the, um, the dx part, right? And so I have a u. Um, I have a u, I, I can't integrate with respect to x, right? So I need to have um, a du somewhere, right? Um, so here's, the, here's where we kind of want to think about actual substitution, right? I'm going to substitute u for 7x. That means I want to substitute something for dx as well, right? So this is why I have du dx, right? So du dx is going to equal 7. Right, that's the derivative of 7x, right? Now, if we think of du over dx as like a normal fraction, we can cross multiply and solve, right? So I want to solve for dx because that's what I'm going to try and substitute. So when I solve, I'm going to get, um, I can cross multiply, I'm going to get 1 over 7 du is equal to dx, right? So now I have a value uh, for dx that I can substitute it, right? Conveniently, um, that value uh, for dx has that du piece that I need inside, right? So this whole thing is going to be my dx. So down in my integrand at the bottom, I'm have, I will have 1 over 7 um, du, right? And this is pretty simple, right? 1 over 7 is a constant. I can pull that out. I have cosine of u du. Cosine of u, or the integral of cosine of u is um, sine of u. So I have 1 over 7 sine of u plus c. And then I, plug, I just have to plug that u back in, right? So then I get 1 over 7 sine 7 plus c, right? And that's it. So those are kind of like my uh, steps for u sub and kind of like the big thing that I want you guys to um, latch on to is this du dx thing and how we can uh, kind of like move those pieces around because that's going to be pretty important uh, later on. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to practice, uh, I have a worksheet. If you have questions, uh, come see me during my office hours and keep all these things in mind because I'm going to talk about this again on Thursday and we're going to apply it in a very uh, nice and efficient way. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something.